Hello everyone. In this session, some more different problems regarding the induction motor. Here, look at the problem. The problem is a six-pole three-phase owned rotor induction motor driven by the another machine having 1800 RPM. So, here just observe the problem. This is the this is the rotor, and this rotor is driven by the the another machine we have the another machine here that machine driven by some 1800 rpm 1800 rpm that means the rotor will rotates with the 1800 rpm the rotor will rotates with the 1800 rpm yes and the rotor of induction motor is connected to the 50 h system so already again the rotor is given to some supply and we don't know how much of supply but supply has some frequency of 50 h so it, it rotor taken supply here the thing is supply supply rotor is excited by supply you can this is the very important thing don't forget the thing next if the mechanical rotation of the rotor is in the same direction as rotor flux rotation so flux will so this flux will rotates so it will be flux flux also having the rotation of the same rotor flux also rotates with the same direction both are in the same direction then the frequency of the stator voltage will be so we have stator stator we have the stator is here just take it this is the just take it this is the stator this is the stator structure stator here the stator doesn't have any supply but stator will have conductors conductors we have conductors the rotor will produce some flux the flux will be induced here and the emf will be generated okay so what what is the condition for emf generation whenever there is a relative speed between the conductors and the flux here the conductors is constant and flux is the rotation then the emf will be generated so here the question is how it generates how it generates is the important thing okay here the thing is here the most important thing is you should look at first what is the speed of the rotor flux okay first then you will understand the frequency so first first rotor speed the rotor speed nr equal to nr equal to yeah it is driven so look at here it is driven by some machine with the 1500 1800 rpm just take it it is rotates with the 1800 rpm and it is and he mentioned the rotor have poles is six he more six poles rotor consisting of the six poles and here the supply already the supply is given to the rotor he mentioned that is the 50 h then what is the flux what is the what is the speed speed of the flux what is the speed of the flux flux will be what is the speed generally so general without having any this rotation general the flux of the speed is speed of the rmf the speed of the flux will be 120 f by p it is rotate it have, must and should have the synchronous speed 120 f by p that is 120 into it is a 50 h number of volts are 6 then we have 20 times so flux rotor flux having the speed of 1000 rpm so without having any rotation it is 1000 rpm but already the rotor already the rotor rotates with the again 1800 rpm it already rotates with the 1800 rpm both are in the same direction 
so this in the flux have the 1000 rpm and the rotor is rotated with the 1600 rpm so we can write overall overall speed of rotor rotating magnetic field will be rotor rotating magnetic field will be so rotor is already rotates with the 1800 rpm and it again had the 1000 rpm then it rotates with the 1800 rpm again it rotates with the 1800 rpm but what is the question there the question is the question is to find out the the question is to find out the frequency generated in the supply frequency in state r frequency in state r okay we should find out the frequency in state r that is the state r frequency so to find out this generally the state r speed equal 120 f by p 120 f by p general the the speed of the flux of the the state r rotating magnetic field speed is 120 f by p here we don't know so we know the speed we know the we we, we know the speed the speed value already it is the state r rotor flux rotor state r rotating magnetic field <coughs> and rotor rotating magnetic field both are rotates with the same speed the speed is you know 2800 rpm okay so just it is the speed flux will be 2800 rpm and 120 into we need to find out the state r frequency and number of folds are 6 number of folds are 6 then 6 6 20 times and 20 140 140 so the frequency generated in state r will be that will be the 140 hedges will be the 140 hedges so this is the problem to do like these problems so always is not giving the supply given to the state r you should take the output from the rotor sometimes he reverse he reverse it he reverse it means he he give the supply to the rotor and again rotor rotates with the some support some backup then he find out the whenever we have the flux is rotation then automatically emf generated state r have doesn't have any supply that's why state r state r having some induced emfs some induced emf then he will find out like these problems okay like these problems this is very very important model is a different model actually is a different model okay next here next problem here a properly shunted center zero galvanometer is connected in the rotor circuit so here we have a rotor circuit is there again just take a rotor circuit a properly centered this rotor circuit is connected with some galvanometer so this this is a symbol of galvanometer the rotor circuit of a six pole so the rotor having a rotor stator board are having six poles and the 50 hedge stator supply 50 hedge wound rotor induction motor this supply frequency this frequency he mentioned always the supply frequency the galvanometer makes 90 complete oscillations per one minute so number of oscillations are number of oscillations are 90 per 1 minute 90 per 1 minute and calculate the rotor speed what is the rotor speed okay so this is the thing so whenever the problem is like this the simple way to do the problem is simple that is generally this is 90 per minute oscillations oscillations generally represents frequency how the oscillations will represent generally related to frequency how it is it have the rotor have galvanometer oscillations 90 per minute that will give the frequency of rotor frequency of rotor that is fr how can we find out that is 90 by 60 
so we will find out the fr value is 1.5 hs 1.5 hs and we should find out the speed and we know this is the fr from this the state r state we have a relation between the state r frequency and the slip times of rotor frequency state r frequency supply frequency 50 we don't know slip and into 1.5 then slip equaled 50 50 divided by not this reverse formula actually the rotor frequency equals slip times of state r frequency so the rotor frequency you know the 1.5 slip into 50 and this is the 1.5 by 50 so by doing this we will get 0.03 so what is the formula for the speed general formula the speed formula equal ns into 1 minus s so ns is the 120 f 120 into 50 by poles are 6 and 1 minus 0 0.03 by doing this we will get the rotor speed is the 970 rpm 970 rpm so this is the problem when he given the oscillations the oscillations means itself it is a rotor frequency and this is 90 you should convert into minutes into second so in order to convert this just by doing the 60 then we will get the rotor frequency okay this is about the different problems one is the problem related to the supply is given to the rotor the other problem is given to the if the rotor having some oscillations that is the problem okay i hope all of you understand the session thank you